Welcome back, everybody. It's another episode of Connect, Share, Prosper. I'm your co-host, Chris Angel, here with Chaz Wilson, your host. Chaz, uh, it's episode 22, and I feel like we tore it up in episode 21. I felt like I got to great. see a different side of you backstage. I loved it. Yeah, thank you. It was awesome. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. And so we're going to do it again. We're going backstage with Chaz again, ladies and gentlemen, to ask some questions, uh, the, a question I have. Um, and actually, it's good on the heels of what we talked about. And my question is, well, my observation first is, you have like all these people around you. And what you said in the last episode was like, well, it's whenever I get um, to a place of uncertainty, I'll create a plan, but then it's almost always attached to who, not what. It's like, I'm always expanding with more people to help me get where I need to go. So personally, as a business person, I, I have big vision and one of the biggest ceilings on my growth. I, in fact, I'm just being completely transparent with you guys. Uh, I feel like I should be so much further down the road based on who I feel like I am in terms of my gifts, my abilities, my vision, my, all that, even my life experience. And yet I don't feel like I am, right? And one of the biggest lids on that is I've been afraid to hire. I've been afraid to bring people in to my business, mostly because of the, the surface level is money. Oh, it's money. It's going to cost money, whatever. But it's just at some level, I need to get beyond that because I have big things to do in the world. And I think everybody listening to this also feels like they have big things to do. And one of the biggest lids on their growth is that they're not bringing people into the vision. Yeah. So how do you do it? How well, do you bring so, people in? So you actually mentioned something as well that, that's big. And that is also what drives people like you and I is the gap between where we feel we are and where we feel we can get to that potential that gap is what makes me go a hundred miles an hour. It's like, I just have this drive to say, I need to meet my potential. And part of my potential is finding great people and helping them be great. Like that's, that's part of the potential and the drive. So how do you do it? First of all, I think, I mean, some of these statements I hear are cliche, but yet there's some truth to them. Like, um, you know, you're going to attract people to the level you are like, you're never going to rise above your own personal development. And every great organization, families even, they're constrained by the leaders of that organization, that city, that business, that team, the family, et cetera. If I don't lead my life and I don't lead my family, someone's going to. There's a void there. Someone will step in and lead that. And so I look at that and I say, okay, I want to surround myself with people who help me and I can help them. And so first of all, I have to be clear and be certain about where I'm going because people just want to follow people that know where they're going, not, not taking them somewhere else. <laughs> it goes back to certainty from last time, but yeah. It does. They're all, this is all together and tied in. And so one of is when I'm certain where I'm going, the interesting thing, Chris, is that I become certain that I'm looking for people. When I'm looking, it's amazing what you find when you're looking. I, I literally have almost, I think I've hired one person. I want to be accurate about this. Uh, maybe two in the last seven years off of job sites. Mm -hmm. They've almost all been because I said, this is what I need. Yeah. Put it out there, started talking to people and someone would go, Chris, yeah. I got just the person for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I find them. Yeah. Yeah. I want to, so the, the observation I have is like, like you got, amazing talent around you like your team is incredible um and so like i think how do you look for how do you ask for that what do you look for when it comes your way because i'm sure everyone's like oh you should talk to my my cousin whoever and you're like yeah. oh i'm so thankful there's just somebody that i could possibly throw into the mess of my life like but i think that could lead, <laughs> lead to a bad hire so well so let, let me actually reverse this for a second because i think yeah. you'll see the the, the so like if you looked at right now, you said where your potential is and where you need to go. Like what would be the hire you would be looking for right now? Uh, I need an operational assistant to do a lot of the, for the, this production of these shows. There's a lot of work with Trello and getting stuff off to the different people that sew it all yes. together. I need somebody to manage that whole thing. Like be, they're like the chief of that entire process. And so do you know what that looks like? Are you certain about what that looks like? I'm certain, uh, I'm certain of the work because I've done it, right? Yeah. Um, I'm also certain of the system because we've created it. But I, then I have these things like there's probably some 
there's they've got to be tech i don't know how tech on the tech curve right i'm not very techy but i taught myself i but i need them to be smart enough about tech that they don't get lost in a simple question mm -hmm. so then the, those things come up and I'm like well i don't know like so can you visualize somebody right now that you know that could be perfect for that job uh i cannot They're, they may even be happily employed like they like so that's part of it is when I start to visualize somebody I might know. Okay. And the reason why I do that is because then I think, okay, first of all, I think, can I go get that person? If that's the person I visualized. Second is, can I find someone like that person? Like for me, it's just how I do it. Like I start to go, hmm, that's somebody I can think of attitudes and characteristics and skills that they have. And that's what I look for. The other, the other thing I just want to say before I forget this point is, uh, and I had been trained in a lot of sales trainings and team trainings, et cetera, is that, you know, you go find talent. I talk about it in my book, which you do, you go look for talent, talented people who can come into your organization. But I'm also gonna share something that I've learned over experience that I don't think a lot of people talk about. I think you create and grow talent as well. Mm. Like, so I have an employee here who's part of our team who said to me yesterday, in fact, she brought breakfast for the whole office today on her own and just said, I just want everyone to know how grateful I am to be a part of this team and what it's wow. done for me in my life. So I'm bringing everybody breakfast. Wow. And she said to me, she said, I was pretty unpolished when I got here. Hmm. And I think the thing is I could see all the potential. I could see everything there. And I just, I really laid out a vision. If, if you're willing to grow, hmm. I'm willing to give you everything I got to help you. And, and look, here's the worst case. You, you end up leaving. You've got all these skills. You can go now and prove your, right. you know, your, your yeah. employment. Right. So I think there's also a stage of it. So what I would say if you're looking for this person is to get clear on what that looks like, mm -hmm. start putting out to the world who that is. Yeah. And then as they come in, what you're really looking for, mm -hmm. they got to have base skill, but then you're all, you're looking for all the attitudes. You're looking for the characteristics that are all hard work, yep. you know, upbeat, exciting. Yeah. They get things done. They're a person of their word. They follow through on those things or they have integrity. Those are the things you can't look for on a resume. Yeah. That's what I look for when I interview, by the way. That's why I'm so protective of our culture. In fact, we have a big board out on our office and it has all our core values. And at the very bottom in bold print, it says, if you don't grow, you have to go. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. And that's the statement that we make to everyone here. If you don't grow, you've got to go. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I, I think that um, for a lot of people, uh, myself included, that this, this thing, I didn't want to call it a skill set. I know there's a skill set in it, but it's more of a mindset before it's a skill set, right? Like that, that, that this mindset yes. of um, bringing people with you in order to get access to the vision that's in your head. Like you can't, I can't, I cannot, there's no way I personally can reach what's in my head to reach because it's so much bigger than me. How yes. ludicrous then that my mindset has been, right? Like, I can't afford it or I, you know, like, I don't know where, where to start, whatever story you're living into. I mean, they, yes, I understand they sound ludicrous, but they're real to every, like they're real to the person that's in that, right? It's real to you. It was to us when we were hiring Absolutely. and it, it does get a little easier at some levels, but yet yeah. I never have the money to hire the next person when I hire them. I'm always just like, yeah. but, but like in, in your case, cause you're really looking for that kind of first key hire, right? That's the big, yep. or maybe it's your second, I don't know, but it's really that key hire that takes you. So, uh, my mentor and friend always said to me, so if this is the vision and this is where I wanted to go and I know I need that person, the question then becomes is how, how fast can I get to that place mm. to get that person? Because if I know I need it, <laughs> and the longer I wait, nice, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's all simple. Yeah. It sounds easy. I'm like, yeah, in theory, that sounds great, but <laughs> I can really afford it. Yeah. So good. So it's, a, it's really the mindset to do that. And then the second thing is to just go out and make that happen. Now, the question, I always look at it from math. I'm very simple when it comes to this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I'm going to go pay somebody, I, I got to use simple numbers here. So let's see. <laughs> you know, I, I need to pay somebody $2,000 a month, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Well, then I go out and say, okay, if I have a, a $500 product a month, I need to go sell four of those. Yeah. So how quickly could I go sell four of those mm -hmm. to afford that person? And then that becomes like my, I've heard this phrase too, your obsession becomes your possession. So I get, when you talk about moving a hundred miles a minute, that's what I do. I get obsessed about being able to cover that piece yeah. so I can move on. Yeah. So good. I've had that experience a little bit. So I brought somebody in from operations, you know, Allie, uh, you've received some emails from her about yeah. her, the show and she's, yeah. uh, she's a ninja like to, and it was sort of similar to this process where I'm like, 
who like I put it out there through Facebook. I'm like, who knows something like this? And then I had interviewed her on my podcast, by the way. Great reason to yeah. have a show is, yeah, to, exactly. is to connect with people that are talented. She's crazy talented. And she, I just caught her in a window of her life where she was open to some side projects. And so I, just, you know, pay, by the hour hiring her to come in and work with me as an operate, like an a, a operations person. And now that that stuff's been built out, like it, I'm ready for somebody to step in to run that. So she and I can now build the next piece. But it's exactly how you said, like, it's like, I don't know how I'm going to afford her. You're it was, right. I didn't know when I reached out, I'm like, I don't think I can afford you. And I think you, I think we could really do some cool stuff together. Is this at all interesting to you? So let me just throw something out there uh, to people listening. Cause I think this is what happened. What you said is, um, I mean, just again, I just want to, I want to, I don't want to pick on what you said. So I want to, I want to expand on what you said. Yeah. You said, I don't know how. So to me, that's where I go back to that certainty place. So when I get, mm. uh, I'm confused about hiring somebody, it's cause I don't know how I'm going to afford it. When I have a plan on, and I know how I'm going to afford this person, mm-hmm. I'm more confident to go hire them and go, okay, that means four more sales or two more sales right. or 10 more sales or whatever it is I got to go do. Yeah. And it's, it's amazing that like, yeah, my energy just goes towards making that happen and I go make it happen. And now I can afford the person. It's just, yeah. so it's yeah. the, I don't know how to, here's how I do it. Right. Yeah. So good. Ah, it's good, man. Oh, it's just, uh, so much we could go on and on about all this stuff. Um, I think that's a good place to wrap for this conversation. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there's more we could look at, but for now, I think that's we hit some really good high notes there on um, mindset. It's not as much a skill set, I think, for most people. I think the real hurdle is a mindset. Um, if you can get, if you can embrace the mindset, the skill set is really just doing it. It's just go do it, fail forward. You might, I tell people sometimes in coaching, like you may hire three people that aren't the right people. That's your own learning curve. And that's, and you should just embrace that, that as a possibility. But well, it's going to happen. That's just yeah. part of the process. Yeah, what's the alternative? Like be afraid of it the whole time and never hire anybody. Like, no, you can't do that. So you just got to go in and do it. So um, anyway, thank you again for this wisdom. If people want to um, learn from you, coach with you, have you as a mentor, like how can people connect with you that way? So they can always reach out to me on social media. They can direct message me. I always answer those. Um, and, or they can go to chaswilson.com, C-H-A-S-W-I-L-S-O-N. Uh, chaswilson.com. I have all kinds of stuff there. I've got applications for group coaching. We have a, we got a group coaching program that we do an online portal with coaching on demand. I do two live calls with people every month. They can ask, people are always amazed. They get on they're like, wow, there's a lot of people on here, but like, you'll take live questions. I do. I just, I take wow. that risk. I throw live questions. People just ask, here's what I'm doing <laughs> in my business. Nice. And, uh, and we get real. So yeah, go to my website and uh, hit me up for more information on that. Got it. Awesome. Chaz, another great episode. I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Thanks Chris. See ya.